What is the rarest building in Minecraft? Today I'm going to answer this question and also I will show you the most coolest and rarest places I found in Minecraft. But first we have to find the map that will take us to all these places. And actually to find this map, you have to come to this place in the desert. And in the desert, you have to look for a place exactly like this. There's four sand blocks that's stacking above each other and there is also a cave connected to this place you should ignore the cave and go to these four sand blocks and once you dig through them you will find the chest which has the map that we need for this video and now that we got the map it's time for us to go to the first place which is the badlands and not any badlands this time we're gonna find the most coolest place in the badlands the chance of this spawning less than one percent and even if you get this 1%, the chance of you finding it is like less than 0.01%. And that's for a good reason. Because as you see, the place is the coal land. If you ever thought about a heaven which have only coal, this place is it. You will find a lot of coal in this place. I think this place is a glitch because there shouldn't be a place in Minecraft that have coal as much as this place. But maybe this is a glitch happens in Minecraft where the world generates coal instead of sand or whatever like there is in the badland maybe clay a type of clay so the game generates coal instead of it and as you can see there's a lot of coal and also there's a mine shaft here if you want to explore the one that spawned to me i think is incomplete on a small mine shaft but there is a one very close by that's very 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 big but still if you love coal or you need coal this place will like give you as much coal as you need forever and if you think this place is cool, that means you have to wait till you see the other three places which will blow your mind. Now the next place is a bit far away from here, but we're gonna reach it eventually. While we reach there, why don't you press like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I work so hard on my videos and it, these videos take so much time to make. So I would appreciate that. And as you can see, we reached the second place and it's inside the village. Uh, actually, it's not inside the village. It's above the village technically. You see, whenever you find a village, you always go to the blacksmith. But this village is, uh, it's weird. This village actually doesn't have a blacksmith. Instead, it have a flying blacksmith thingy. And there's a very cool secret inside this blacksmith. Now, probably I need to gather some wood so I can reach up there. Now, I think I need a lot of wood, so this might take some time. Okay, now that I have enough wood, now I can go up and reach the place. Okay, I think we are close. Yeah, we are close. We're getting closer. Now that we reach the place, you can see that there is two different main things. First is that the anvil looks totally different and it doesn't work actually. And the second thing that you would think, okay, go get some diamond and things from the chest. No, -uh, the chest looks totally different and it's actually locked by a passcode. So if you think, okay, then how can I get the passcode and why there's a passcode for this chest? Actually, it's really, really easy, but at the same time, it's really hard. If you look at the place, it looks totally normal. There's nothing different about this place but actually there is something different which is if you look closely you can see that there's extra wooden blank here so if you just remove it you'll find the secret code with a star a weird star and the, the secret code is very easy 666 we can put the code here and you can get the most satisfying gift ever it's the netherite ingots exactly there's 48 netherite ingots and there is a netherite sword netherite pickaxe netherite full armor and if you think this place is a game breaking wait till you hear how hard it is to reach to this place this place is so hard that only 10 people in the world found this place and some people say that it's not even real and you cannot find it but i did who knows you might find it for yourself now that place was cool but the next place is way cooler the next place is not about the loot that you will get from it but it's about the story of the place because this place is full of stories as you can see it's an ancient minecraft building they say this building was the lab that created all the zombies and zombie zombie pigment and all the types of monsters that we know and love or hate although it's not clear if it's true or false but you can see this place have already a pig and a zombie pigment instead a machine or a glass prison which might indicate that there was a research going on these two even though the pig already escaped from here i think they are right about their story i mean look at the place what hints can we find in this place first we can go upstairs and see the second floor and inside the second floor you can find a lever which doesn't open anything other than a light but if you go above the building you can find that the river was actually supposed to do something because the redstone is going somewhere but it cut down because it's old and probably like it got destroyed and the redstone in the building got destroyed also there was a redstone door which you can see also here with the pistons and everything but it's also destroyed 
destroyed so that means this place was actually a lab and probably like this is the place where zombie pigmen was created in minecraft in the story of course so now that we finished the third place now we can go to the last place which is the coolest of them all and it is the most hardest one to find the chances of finding this place is like 0.01 and actually the chances of spawning in your world is like 0.0001 it's just just very hard to find this place but before i reached the place i found a fish party there was like so many fishes i don't know jumping and dancing i don't know what they are doing there was a lot of tune fishes but there was two special little fishes so cute fishes like they were like sitting with each other romantically on the boat while breathing i don't know how but unfortunately they died in a mysterious way i don't know how they died type in the chat rib fishes i would call them polly and molly rib polly and molly mysteriously died then their father started attacking me without any reason i didn't even kill them why does he attack me so i ran away and i found out that he was stuck in the boat look at this so i started eating his daughters while he was looking at me and dying then i killed him and also i killed the fisherman because always kill one human for every animal you kill this is my motto now that we finished our little fish party finally we are going to go to the last place and as you can see it is gorgeous it might look like the normal desert temple in minecraft just made out of diamonds and emeralds but this one have a special story to it and also special loot inside of it and the story behind this place that it was built by aliens yes built by aliens you know how in real life people always theorize that that the pyramids were built by aliens exactly in minecraft they did the same thing but this time it was actually built by aliens now that we have reached the place i cannot wait till we explore it and see what's inside let's take this diamond and go inside oh i can't wait to go in oh no what is this oh no what is this uh, hello uh, I, I, I swear i wasn't going to take your loot oh my god what's happening oh.